Hi everybody, and welcome to Blue Water Oracle. This is a full moon reading on May 21st, 2016. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. It's a weekend here, a long weekend in fact. And I hope that you're taking care of yourself, paying attention to your own energies, to your thoughts, to your feelings, and putting out what you want for your future, for your next steps forward. So I thought I would do something a little bit different, which is why you don't see me. Hopefully you can hear me okay and it will work okay. So in front you see a little setup with some different crystals, a selenite, um, some citrine, and some beautiful blue different crystals, angelite, and uh, there's also a moonstone in there. So just to set a little bit of a stage. Because often when I do readings people can't quite see the cards as well and I thought I would give an opportunity today. So background music on our background setup is Denise Lynn's uh, throat chakra, her fifth chakra. There was definitely, as I was setting up for this reading, a strong pull towards the color blue. So in the chakra system, that uh, the pale blue is in the throat system. So perhaps communication, speaking your truth. And that's also why I have a bunch of blue stones out with me today. Uh, for this reading. So maybe that's important for you. And you can go and look at the uh, chakra portals that Denise Lynn has on her website, denise.lynn.com, and uh, spend some time with them if they feel helpful to you. So I'm using the Earth Magic deck. Uh, for today's reading, it took a little while for me to get into it, to set into it. Um, I feel the energy is making me quite tired today, so hopefully you have more energy than I do. Um, but the earth magic, once I decided what I was doing and setting up, the earth magic were the deck that wanted to come out. So I think we're going to pull two cards for today. So I'm already shuffling behind the scenes and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do this layout for you efficiently and clearly so that you can see it on my happy little video. All right. So take a deep breath with me, looking for guidance today on the full moon. Moving forward, what do we need to understand in the here and now? And what steps do we want to take forward? There's card number one. And I'm going to choose the second card. So breathing, take a beautiful deep breath. And remember, as all readings, you only take what feels right and true to you. So your own truth always speaks higher and more important than what any reader could bring forward. We're here to give ideas, to give interpretations, to give points of reference, but ultimately you already have the information yourself and it's just bringing it up in a new way so that you can perhaps pay attention to something differently. So your own heart, your own truth is very important always, always. So let's look at our first card. I don't know how it looks with my hand coming through, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it looks okay. The experimentations. So this is the mountain card, the strength card. So as with all my readings, I don't know what the cards are going to bring up until I flip them over. So here as I look at this card and as I think about full moon energy, I get the feeling that this full moon uh, as a lot that's been happening over the last um, while that it's probably making certain people uh, feel a little rocky <laughs> take the mountain reference there for for those uh, people who know the Rockies and the mountains out west um, but maybe feeling a, a little bit rocky in their own energy uh, challenging them in certain ways so it's causing an intense need to bring up your personal strength and remember those strengths that you have. So as I said, for me today, it feels like a, quite a tired energy, um, quite intense in one way, but at the same time, it feels supported and it feels as though it's just working on a different, a different plane, if you like. So it's having patience for that. It's having understanding and knowing that there is good for us as long as we pay attention, as long as we listen, and as long as we trust, and then take actions when they make themselves known. 
So here we have the mountains, we have the strength. So remembering that core, deep, deep strength that you have. So if this is ringing true to you, if this is making sense, what I would suggest is to take some moment over this weekend and really take note of your strengths. What do you feel, what do you know that you do really well, that you contribute to the world around you very easily and very efficiently? Sometimes we say that we know things about ourselves, but then we forget, right? We forget that they are a part of us, that we do bring that to the world every day. So take some time and remind yourself of the strengths that you have deep within you. Even if you feel as though you haven't seen them for a little while, like a mountain, there is a deep core in the mountain, whether it's in the caves, whether it's in the gemstones, whether it's in just the hard and important rock that holds up that mountain. Know that the strengths are there and please remember them as you go through these shifts and changing of these times. All right, so support yourself so that you can remind yourself of what the universe already knows, um, but what it wants you to remember in day-to-day living. So mountain strength. Let's have a look at our second card here. Oh, dance, celebration. Okay. So with our first card, we have a reminder to look at our strengths. And here we have a reminder to celebrate, to celebrate life, to dance. So what is dance? In different cultures, dance is ceremonial. It can be at very important times in our lives. The dance can represent shifting from one phase of life to another. So in some cultures, it would be dances to celebrate moving from youth into adulthood. For some, it's moving from uh, being celibate to being part of a partnership. For some, it is also a dance to celebrate accomplishment on all different levels. So I wonder here if it's also reminding us that there are changes and shifts, that that's normal. It has been normal in life from the beginning of human time, and it's normal in life from any other creature and living organism that we see from the trees that are now coming into full leaf where I live from the flowers that are pushing up through the soil animals learning and spending time with their parents or parent and then being told that now you need to go out on your own and having that drive and having that push So where are you in your life? What is the shift that's happening? What is the change that's coming about? It feels like it's probably a pretty emotional time for a lot of people if they really sit down and pay attention and allow the emotions to come up. It's probably quite intense. So I wonder if people are pushing that down or pushing that away. And this is an invitation to actually celebrate all that that is. Reminding yourself of the strengths and now celebrating these changes. As easy as they may seem or as completely challenging as they are. Look at them for what they are. The shifts, the changes. Where are they going to bring you? What could be coming forward in that that perhaps you didn't know about, perhaps you didn't see or perceive beforehand. And now as you look forward, as you celebrate those shifts, as you allow yourself to feel those emotions, perhaps it's time to dance. Whether you actually put on music and physically dance or not, it's a time to celebrate 
So what do you want to do to celebrate? Is it lighting a few candles and spending a moment in meditation, feeling yourself and just enjoying what you know to be progress? Is it actually getting a group of friends together and going dancing and celebrating and moving the body to, to rhythms and having people around you to support you? Or is it celebrating a little bit like the strength to list the things that you've accomplished, the progresses that you're seeing, the advancements that are happening? Again, whether they're easy or whether they're very difficult. Some of them you may be choosing, some of them you feel you may not be choosing, but they're happening anyway. So celebrate. From the smallest to the largest things, this is time to celebrate change, dancing through change, through progress. This is a way to remind ourselves that that has always happened and it's happening to us as well, whether we plan for it or not, and that there are great and wondrous things coming about within this, whether we can always see it or not. So take some time to celebrate, to acknowledge your strengths, to acknowledge and dance and feel what you need to feel and be aware of what you need to notice. I wish you all the best for this full moon weekend. Take time with people who are important for you, with nature, with yourself. Celebrate and know your strengths. This is Sheila for Blue Water Oracle. I wish you well and happy blue full moon. Bye-bye.